16 years old, Mom and Dad gave me a silver ring for my 16th birthday. It had a dove on it representing the Holy Spirit. Grandpa Abbott placed a dime in the ring box and was thrilled that I had received a diamond ring. I miss his quiet humor. I also received a new tennis racket as I hoped to play on the CHS tennis team. I took lessons to prepare for tryouts. It quickly became clear that the rest of the girls had been honing their skills much longer. Knowing I'd only warm a bench, I dropped out. My first real job was at a skateboard track owned by a friend's father. Mom approved as long as I stayed off those dangerous skateboards. Not a problem since I worked in the snack bar serving hot dogs, chips, and Cokes. I can still vividly see two boys come in to ask for ice. When I informed them it would cost 10 cents, one boy gently brought the other boy's arm up into my line of view. Even to my untrained eye, I knew it was badly broken. Ice coming right up. No charge. Mom was blessed with a lifelong friend since childhood. Diane had two sons the ages of friend and me. Our families enjoyed each other, so in the summer of 1976, the Dreaskis came to visit and we all went to Miami. The guys bred turtles and wanted to stop any turtle and snake shop. David convinced me to let a large, harmless snake lean on my arm. Then he got distracted and walked away. I tried not to panic as the snake pushed against my arm and flicked his tongue at me. Help! Since Dad was a college professor, we took an eight-week vacation to see our beautiful country, Dad retrofitted our VW bus with a table that turned into a bed when lowered onto the storage bins, which doubled as seats. Mind you, this was before mandatory seatbelt laws. Camping helped keep the costs down. Mom, Dad, and Marty slept in the VW bus while Bren and I slept in a pup tent. By the end of the summer, we could set up that tent in a flash. We made great memories as we visited friends, family, national parks, and icons like wall drugs. I remember the black sky as bats flew out of Carlsbad Caverns, the vastness of the Grand Canyon, going out for ice cream with family in Phoenix to celebrate a rainstorm, Disneyland compressed into a small area, the Pacific Ocean lulling me to sleep, and ginormous redwood trees. Camping provided memorable experiences. We learned to take a Navy shower when the showers were coin-operated or delivered ice-cold water, and stinky outhouses made for fast bio-breaks. Dad woke Bryn and me up one freezing Montana night to sleep in the van, The next morning, a bucket of water left outdoors had turned into ice. Another night, Dad woke us up in the middle of the night to pull up camp. Drunk revelers were racing cars through the field where we were camping, and Dad feared they might drive over us. That night, we ran out of gas. As Dad set off on foot to find an open gas station, we tried to sleep. Each time a truck passed by, the van shook. Marty was irritated, thinking I was the cause. By the end of our bicentennial trip, we had been in 25 states, plus took a day trip into Mexico. Happy 200th birthday, America! Hashtag eyewitness to my life. Hashtag pondering friend to friend.